Have, no, you, no, have you ever woke up with a roach on your face? Here. No, that's not the ghost. All right, then. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. I don't know what you're talking about. I got some in the neighborhood with me that roach on your face. Roach in your ear? Y'all want to go to the bando and met my neighborhood? To make him look better, he said he know not true. Silver Spoon, I ain't never ate with that day a day in my life. Hey, you did. I have to have a silver spoon. Look, I used to have to come rested. to my grandma's house because I'm getting in the you fight. You cried like a baby to go to your grandma's house. <laughs> You know, the idea that everybody wants to be from the hood and shit, I thought that was like 2018, but I guess it never goes away. So I'm going to break this down for y'all real quick, because I would consider myself from the hood, but like still the suburbs. Like, I was from the hood, but I was never around drugs. I was never around guns. I was in the house by like 10. I didn't watch anybody die. My lights and my, my water was never my hot water was never off but what i can say is though people from the hood don't want to be from the hood and i actually think it's kind of insulting that there's so many people that want to mimic their lifestyle and the things they say and all the things that they may or may not do but not actually want to live said lifestyle you are ti and tiny son you're not fooling nobody his kind really blows me because like why would you want to be from the hood people like that in general blows me and then like it's the other side of who he is that also blows me like you got handed everything and this is what you're choosing to do with it if i was ti and tiny son and i was his age i don't know how old this dude is he's like he looks like he's like 16 or 17 i'd be a dickhead i'd be flexing i'd be talking my shit and most importantly i make a bigger platform without looking like a damn idiot like him probably the reason why i grew up how i grew up again i am grateful i think god made me grow up that way for a reason because, again, if I was in his position, I'd probably be doing some real fucked up things. Not even a question. But for you to be in this position and for you want to, like, act and, like, plead your case that you're from the hood isn't cool. You look dumb. You're not fooling us. You are T.I.'s kid. I can understand why, though. The influence of his dad and where his dad's from and this being cool to everybody. Average Joe, average Tom, you know, um, Wayne, the average black dude in high school. Okay, we all gonna play the hood card at some point just because it seems cool or just a troll. But you? No, 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 no. You don't get that. You don't. Every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you to hold your breath. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. I don't want to be in these gates. I want to be outside in the neighborhood. That's why I want to be over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm a okay, I don't want to be in those gates. I want to be in the neighborhood. Like. Begging to be from the hood is crazy. Nobody there wanted to be from there. Nobody. Man, listen. Again, I think I'm a good middle ground, even though I'm far, far right near the hood, and he's like T.I. and Tiny's kid. If I had half of the childhood or money that he and his family has, man, I can't even say y'all wouldn't even know me. I might not even be doing this right now. Reason why he want to be over there? Y'all ready? Cause he can suck and pacify over there. He's no. twelve years old. Hey, he know I stand on business. He know that. Hey, no nigga ever pull my car ever in life. I stand on business. You drop me somewhere, I stand on business. You drop me in your hood, I stand on business. You got to be careful staying stuff like that. Because you, you, man, you're going to set a target for yourself that you're not ready to defend or, like, go head to head with some of these real hood gangbangers. And most importantly, I thought of something while watching this, seeing his chains and stuff. I'm not the type to blame the parents because I think that's kind of borderlining parasocial relationships, thinking you know somebody from what they show you online when in reality you don't. But what I can say in my world with my kids, when I make it and I'm rich or like high middle class, whatever you want to call it, wealthy, some may say, I don't think I'll ever get to wealth. I'm not going to ice my son out like this. Like, again, he looks like he's 16 or 17, and he, I see two big-ass chains that's probably worth more than the house that I'm in. I think the problem with King here is that he grew up around a bunch of people and was influenced by maybe his dad and his dad's friends to be something that he simply isn't in the 
friend group that he built himself around is a bunch of people that wish they was him but are stuck in the hood. Or he's just influenced by all the music that's around. Let's be real here. Everybody in between the ages of 16 and 25 listens to the same gangbang hip-hop. Toting guns, doing stuff to women, selling drugs. You know that's cool. Shot a B, shot a boom. That's the life that we live into. What I can say now is, maybe if he wasn't handed all this, or maybe if he was introduced to kids that's maybe in the same circumstances as him with his parents being T.I. and Tiny, this wouldn't have happened. Maybe if we didn't like... I don't know, popularize and give microphones and give attention and a platform to people who talk about selling drugs, toting guns, manipulating women, or even the Krishan's rocks of the world that has made this big ass platform all from being toxic. Just a thought. Yeah. I've been sitting on business. I've been sitting on business. You want to hide it for the world, I'm going to put it out there for them to see. Amen. I want to put up nowhere. You ain't had me put up nowhere. Like, I ain't. You ain't had me behind the mansion. I was outside doing what I wanted to do. You were behind the mansion. You right. No. I ain't got too much to drink. I done drunk too much. Drunk too much. Let's go. He's gonna get mad because we say the South ain't the suburbs. Then he wanna talk about some other Like, just be a sick. Just be a sick. No, I'm being real. You lying. You lying. You up here flagging. You're capping. Cap you capping. You capping. The crazy part about all this is that he's talking to his parents in this video. Like, is there really no boundaries for you celeb kids? Because I know if I talk to, I mean, I still don't even cuss or be my real self fully around my mother or grandmother or parents in general. Like, it's really no, like, it's nothing in his mind telling him that he maybe should talk better to his parents and be more respectful. I think that this is really just a sad case of somebody wanting to be something that they just wasn't. And that's good. I think everybody needs to learn how to appreciate all the good things that they got blessed with in life. To some degree, you should thank God and keep pushing with that. You shouldn't jeopardize it or make it seem like you live something that just... We all have this mentality or this like started from the bottom mentality. And I think that is just dumb personally. If I started off on the top, I just try and grow as high as I can. If I started off on the... If I started off on top of a school, I probably try and get as high as the Empire State Building type. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's nothing cool about being from the bottom at any point. Yeah, it's cool to say because a lot of people, most people, 99% of people don't ever get up. But at the same time, it's like, how old are we? Like, that feels like some real high school type stuff. Because in reality, nobody cares about where you came from or how you started. We care about what you're doing today. So this big emphasis that people feel the need to put on saying how low they was or like how bad the neighborhood is and what they are because of it and how above people they are because of where they came from feels kind of outdated and like you screaming for not just attention but like approval like you want to avoid fielding you that won't be filled by anybody we could all believe that you was from the suburbs and now you're here but like where would that get me why would i care how would that make me care about you anymore you It's sad that even that like it even got to those levels like the fact that his daddy had to like calm him down and stop him from putting his hands on his mom is crazy. I'm going to look up how old this guy is just because I'm curious about it. He's 19. So, okay, he's not that. He's like August 25th. I got him by about two years. Two years. Me at 19 is not doing this. This is just dumb. You're too old. And I get that this may be how you want to make a name for yourself in some way. Like, we saw Will Smith's daughter and son do it, do a bunch of stupid stuff to get attention. It seems like this is the thing for most celebrity kids at some point, one time or another, where they have this phase where they feel the need to separate themselves or, like, 
make news that doesn't have to do with their parents. Like, to be more than just T.I. son or Tiny's kid, I get it. But this ain't the way to go about it. I think this is just a huge, like, step back from everything that people knew you from when it came to those reality TV shows. Just my personal opinion, though. Don't shoot the messenger. I don't know too much about it because growing up, I wasn't really into the whole drama stuff or reality TV. I could care less about what a celebrity and this kid is doing on TV. But this hit headlines and I decided to watch it with y'all because why not? My request, man. Uh, stop hitting me and getting in my comments telling me what to tell King, okay? I know my son. Think I ain't spoke to my son? Think I ain't told my son, his mama, and his grandmama, his ass going to prison. If he got damn keep that shit up, his ass going to prison. You know, the fact that his dad is saying something like this speaks volumes to me as far as like where this kid is and where he's going in life. We got your dad basically saying he's given up and made peace with the fact that you're not going to be anything outside of a wannabe gangbanger going to jail. I think it's sad. I think it was okay that he had that energy because he was from the hood and went through all that he went through. His son has T.I. as a dad and Tiny as a mom. There's no reason to be going through that. And to touch on what he said at first, like I kind of alluded to, y'all telling him or Tiny how to raise his kid is screaming parasocial, parasocial relationship. And I think you need help. It's okay that we all have an opinion on this because it's social media. We're all bored. To be honest with you, I think... King is bored, which is why he's doing this. You know, people are bored. They make up problems. And him wanting to be a gangbanger is the biggest bored type shit I've seen in my life. It's okay to judge, comment on, have your own feelings and reaction to what's going on. But it's not okay to, like, again, be on the parasocial relationship energy and trying to tell a grown-ass man or grown-ass woman how to raise their kid that you know nothing about outside of the spotlight of what's going on. You don't know what they know. You don't know what they've thought about or... How they've tried to raise them. That's why I will never comment on nothing like that. But I think that's where I'm going to end the video. Because I don't really feel like going into more depth about this delinquent. So I'm into here. I love y'all more than I love myself. Hit that subscribe button. Give me the 2,000 subscribers. And we're out. Peace. 313-414-696. I don't even know what I'm saying. You know, I do this every video. And it's just simply because I need my... Y'all saw my Dragon Ball Z covers. My girl promoted me this. I did every video just due to the fact that I need my camera to sync with my Yeti mic and my Yeti mic to sync with my PC. And my PC didn't link with my camera. You know, I just need it all in sync. That's why. <sighs> How should I start this video? Should I just like, you know. Have you, have you should I just do the kabang? Um, every single girl on this planet is fantasy. We don't really do that no more, even though I am EGF. But like, am I? I have Alex. I have my girlfriend. Am I really every girl's fantasy? Am I just her fantasy? I think I am both. But, like, even though I am that, I don't got to always, like, claim that. I always have to, like, say that. I don't have to make it, like, this intro. It's like, you see me, you know. And if you wonder what EGF stands for, now you know. Okay.